my name is Denise and I'm from Tennessee. In December of 1972, I was a college freshman. The debate over legalizing abortion was raging. And I only remember this because that month I had stood in front of my general studies class and made a presentation describing the horrors of the procedures and why it should not be made legal. One of my classmates looked at me and said, so would you have an abortion if you got pregnant? I never even hesitated when I answered her, absolutely not. Well, Roe v. Wade became law the following month, and less than two months after that, I got pregnant. My firm resolve faded as I pondered what to do. I was more afraid of having my parents find out than I was of anything else. So I listened to the lie that an abortion would solve my problem and made arrangements to fly to New York to have it done. Abortions weren't even legally available in all states in 1973. How would I hide all of this from my parents? It was no easy task, but with the help of some friends, I managed to make up a whole pack of lies to cover the biggest lie of all. As difficult as going through the procedure itself was, and it was agonizingly painful, it was nothing compared to the years of depression, regret, and relationship problems that followed. Like those who have spoken before me, I never realized that the problems I had relating to children would go back to having aborted the one child I had. My first marriage failed. I doubted God's mercy and I felt that I would never be deserving of his forgiveness. I eventually remarried, but my husband and I were unable to have children. So I thought that God was punishing me for having killed the only child he would ever give me. It took years for me to learn to accept that God had forgiven me, and even more years for me to forgive myself. 27 years after my abortion, we were finally blessed with three children through social services. We were able to adopt them, and even though we deal with residual issues from their younger childhood, they are truly blessing us and teaching us about God's forgiving love every day. Our church has a memorial to the unborn. I purchased a brick and had it engraved with the name I had chosen for my baby, Jamie, which is French for I love, and the date, 1973. I visited often and I promised Jamie that someday she will meet her brothers and sister. And I tell her that I'm sorry I never gave her a chance to be born. I kept her story hidden deeply within me for so long, but I can be silent no more.